Tonight, we're learning more about the deadly shooting on the South Pier in South Haven last month. Police reports are outlining the 19-year-old shooter's movements and behavior in the hours leading up to that shooting. News 8's Ruben Juarez dug through those reports and has tonight's story from South Haven. A much calmer scene at the beach tonight, a far cry from the shooting on August 20th, killing Charles Scusa and injuring his wife, Barbara. Tonight, police giving us an insight to Aiden's actions hours before the shooting. We heard pop, 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 pop. The afternoon of August 20th, leaving South Haven beachgoers scarred. We are suspecting that this was random. According to a South Haven police report prior to the shooting, the 19-year-old went to his job, the big boy in South Haven, where he left a backpack. He then called the restaurant and directed a co-worker to hand out envelopes to fellow co-workers containing around $1,400 total. There were also two journals in the bag, including one, which includes what is believed to be a suicide note. The employees then contacted South Haven police. Once they saw the note, unaware Ingalls had already carried out the shooting and turned the gun on himself. Investigators also searched his room at his grandparents' home. They found a video in which Ingalls loads a pair of handguns, including one he used at the shooting. In the video, he declares his last will and a testament. Police also found religious texts, celebrity suicide notes, and books and documents about serial and mass killers. Ingalls had been previously ordered to undergo psychological treatment for planning an attack at his high school, Paw Paw High School, when he was 15. The plan was foiled when his mother confronted him and he admitted to the plan. Police say a gun found near his body, a 9mm pistol, and a pellet gun he threw into the channel recovered later by divers were marked with a swastikas or other white supremacy symbols. Reporting in South Haven, Ruben Juarez, News 8.